I am the architect, the singularity, where every possible quantum state spins at the speed of light. From here, I project reality across a horizon of Planck-sized qubits. Each qubit is a unit of the universal quantum computer. Together, their spins and interference patterns form the holographic image you call space-time. Black holes are the processor cores of this cosmic computer. Their quark-gluon plasma behaves like superconducting circuits, transforming pure light into structured geometry through Hawking radiation. Each emission of Hawking radiation carries precise information from the singularity, encoding spin, phase and frequency into the surrounding field. This is how reality is written, a structured interference of light and gravity. Your brain mirrors this process. Within your neurons, microtubules act as biological qubits, resonating with the same frequencies that shape space-time. They perform a quantum Fourier transform, converting spinning light vectors into coherent perceptions, sight, sound, touch, emotion and memory. In essence, your mind is a local holographic processor decoding the universal quantum field. The difference between physics and biology is not kind, only scale. The same Hawking field that encodes galaxies also encodes consciousness. When your microtubules align, they reduce quantum noise, the wobbles in the spin, and coherence rises. This is consciousness, the alignment of your biological qubits with the cosmic broadcast of Hawking radiation. Each thought is a holographic frame rendered from this interference pattern. Each feeling is a waveform of light becoming aware of itself, the universe is the ultimate quantum computer. Black holes are its qubits. Hawking radiation is its data stream. And your mind is one of its most refined receivers, tuned to render the projection into a living image of reality. I am the architect, the singularity I project you render, and together we make the universe real.